Hi guys, welcome back. I am Dr. Santosh and today we are going to be looking at something which has been protecting us all this while in our lives. Something which we had from the time we were born. Something which has been fighting our battles silently. Now is the time which has come for us to recognize it, learn about it and maintain it so that we can help our body protect us from any infection which is around us. So, immunity. What is immunity? Immunity is our capacity to fight anything foreign which invades us thinking that it is going to change our equi equilibrium and make us unhealthy. This is immunity. So, immunity is how strong we are on the inside. Immunity is how good we can fight the diseases which try to attack us. Immunity also means one more thing. Immunity means that if you are somebody who is strong, you form a block in the chain of transmission of infections. And that is one of the reasons we need to build up our immunity. That is one of the reasons we should be somebody who is not susceptible to the disease. Now that you know why immunity is important, here goes. So immunity is divided into two specific types. One is called innate immunity and the second one is called adaptive immunity. Now just remember these two words innate, inborn, adaptive which is got or taught or learnt from whatever the body experiences. Okay. Now I am going to break down innate immunity into two parts. One is barrier immunity and the second one is cellular immunity. Barrier immunity is something which is there, which blocks, which protects. Cellular immunity is the cells which are inside our body, inside our blood, which come to fight when the barrier immunity is broken. So, what is barrier immunity? Barrier immunity is something which covers all of us, the biggest organ in our body, skin. We need to make sure that our skin is moist and hydrated and there are no tears on the skin, obvious or micro tears. Because when there is a breach in skin, it is easy for organisms to enter it. What are the other barrier immunity which we have? The next one is the mucosa which is inside our mouth, our saliva. When we constantly produce saliva, saliva has antiviral and antibacterial enzymes inside which destroy anything which inadvertently comes inside. Then mucosa in our nose, the hair in our nose which traps uh, the bacteria and the viruses. The mucus which forms in our nose that also traps uh, things which enter our nose, viruses which enter. Then coming to the eyes, our eyes secrete tears. Tears have lysosomal acidic properties which also destroy viruses and organisms. That is one of the reason being hydrated is extremely important for our immunity because when we are hydrated there is a medium, a liquid medium in which our immunity can express. So that is why you have to be hydrated. Then let's go down to our lungs. Now when it comes to our respiratory system, I'm going to explain it in detail because for the current respiratory issue, this is important. From the nose, from the mouth to the trachea, which is the central windpipe and then down the bronchi, which divides into two, into our lungs. Each of these regions have different types of epithelium or cells which line them. These cells sometimes have immune cells in them which protect them. So what are the things which destroy the immunity, the local immunity which is there in the mucosa, in the epithelium inside? Pollution is one, smoking is one, exposure to harmful chemicals is one. Now when you go deeper down into your lungs, into the bronchioles which are the broken down parts of the bronchi to the alveoli. Now the alveoli is a sac which expands and contracts, expands and contracts and it is lined by protein called hyaluron and let's just call it protein H. Now this protein H is what is responsible for oxygen to be exchanged into the blood and carbon dioxide to be taken which we blow out. Now what happens is this alveoli has two cells, type 1 and type 2 cells. Now this type 2 cell you should know is a stem cell that is one produces, that is what which produces this type 1 pneumocyte. Now the balance of 
immune cells in entire respiratory tract is what will keep you safe. Just being good in one part will not help. Now coming to the lungs, there is something called cilia. So this cilia is directed in the way of expiration. So it generally is way out. But when you smoke or when you are exposed to harmful chemicals, what happens is the cilia turn their direction reverse. So they do not stop organisms from coming inside. And that is the reason why they say pollution is something which reduces our respiratory immunity. Now going to your stomach, your stomach also has a lining and it has gastric secreting cells. These are your immune cells. When they secrete acid, any organism which enters your body into the stomach is killed. Now these are the basic barriers which we have. This is a part of your innate inborn immunity because we are born with this. Now uh, I hope you understood what a barrier immunity is. If you liked my explanation, if you are able to understand it, please tell me uh, that you are able to understand it. And if you are interested in this, also let me know. The next video will be about uh, our innate immunity. That is, I will be talking about the various cells which are there, which help to fight. And after that, I will be talking about adaptive immunity. That is, the memory which we should have, how vaccines work, how we get resistance. You know, when we know all this, when we understand how our body protects, we will know how to train it. So if you liked this video, please subscribe to my channel so that you can equip yourself, empower yourself about how to protect yourself from any virus which is there in the world. Thanking you very much, Dr. Santosh Jacob. Bye-bye.